Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. As usual, on Wednesdays, we're going to be talking about some Thursday flipping investments, looking a day ahead and, and looking at what type of market rise we could see after week in the rewards. Of course, this week with Future Star items and packs, we'll talk about those cards, the possibility to buy those cards during rewards when their prices drop, and of course, what could be going up this week on FIFA for the weekend as people build their weekend league t teams. Again, that is the demand. That is why we see the stuff rise after rewards on Thursday and into the weekend is because people are buying cards for their teams. So we have a lot of objectives, uh, some big SBCs that have happened in the past week, and that's where we're gonna focus a lot of our investing and a lot of our linking with those investments um, in the next day or so as we do look for cards like that. But I do want to point one thing out. Yesterday we had the release of another Weekend League Plus objective. So that means we're going to be getting the potential for three extra player picks from Team of the Week 21, which is coming out today. So that is Team League 21. Um, you know what you'll be playing for when you get these player picks on the weekend. So they are just locked to that one Team of the Week. Uh, there's no rating requirement or rating minimum on any of these, and I was still hoping that EA would do like Team of the Weeks 1 through 21, but unfortunately it's just Team League 21, so that means there's more demand for the Weekend League and people building their teams this weekend. So I do think that will help the market rise, I think that will make this Weekend League pretty sweaty. In all honesty, because last time they did that, which was during the headliners promo, it got pretty sweaty on the weekend. There's a lot of people really grinding out for those extra wins to get those extra player picks. Now, of course, for this week's team of the week that is coming out today, which we're going to look at this for investment purposes as well. There's a there's a couple cards in here that could be really dope if this is actually the team of the week. Aubameyang with a hat trick on the weekend seems to be like the biggest card that is like a shoe in to team of the week. I've seen Pavard, I've seen a Trincao, I've seen a Messi. Um, you know, for Real, for sorry for Barcelona, I've seen a couple center back. Furlan Mendes, and I'm not sure what to think about that because that was a Tuesday game, and usually they don't give informs for Tuesday games, but we'll see. Other than that, Tony Cruz getting in here, Lukaku. I mean, in this prediction, for that was Foot Bin's prediction, some interesting cards, and of course, Foot Head has got Messi, Aubameyang, and Lukaku in there. If they're going to give Messi an inform, that would be crazy. Potentially Gundogan, Llorente possibly getting an inform. They've got Ndidi in this week's Team of the Week prediction. Uh, so hopefully, if, if all goes well, it would look more like this. But um, for Team League 21 this week, there will be extra player picks out, and that will drive a little bit extra demand for this upcoming weekend league. And I think that creates an even better opportunity to invest in Thursday flips. But let's take a look and just talk through what is happening on the market right now. Of course, we have a lot of card prices that have dropped in the past week out of the weekend league with this market being less rich, right? A lot of coins have been drained and another coin drain SBC came yesterday with this Steven El Shirawi card. I'm honestly kind of comparing this to that SBC Robin flashback card that we got earlier this year because look at how many thumbs up this guy has on Footbin. 7,000 thumbs up for El Sharawi coming in at 300,000 coins. His card's probably going to drop a little bit as we get near to the rewards time frame with SBC fodder dropping. Um, and yes, it is a bit expensive, but five star skills, four star weak foot, really high agility, really high balance. This guy kind of fits the meta except for his physicality. He's got the finesse shot trait. A lot of people are in on this El Sharawi. And this is great timing by EA Sports because just recently, if you remember, what was it, a week ago or two weeks ago, they released the Tonali objective, right? So there's a lot of people have gone out and got that Tonali objective card. They're, you know, they've got the Ronaldo possibly, they've got the Dybala. There's a lot of Serie A hype still going on in FIFA. And I think that this El Sharawi card is going to add to that. And I'm liking that the main point we're going to talk about this week is linking, buying link investments to this El Sharawi, to the Curtis Jones, to the Renier, to the Cucurella. That's kind of the space where I think if you find those green link investments that aren't too inflated yet already, that might be the place to look this week. So for some of those cards that are out of packs, that we could be looking at this week, right? Think Syria, think Meta, 
think popular and hopefully stuff is not already up the stuff got stuff has gotten really low um, and now it's kind of up this this was 300,000 coins flat earlier today he's up to about 300k now so some of the stuff has started to rise as people have invested in these cards as link investments to possible uh, these SBCs and stuff like that but what I would say is look around on the market for specifically Premier League for specifically um, Syria and maybe a little bit of La Liga, right? I'm looking at this guy like Douglas Costa, who has been around 360, 370,000 coins all week. And this Sancho card, even though he's already a little bit inflated, I love the links that that Renier card has. I bought a Royce today for 133, and I think he's already back up a little bit. The Renier objective card is one card that I would definitely keep in mind this week when looking through some link investments that you could possibly find uh, to invest, right? This, this Royce right now, 135, 136. And this card's pretty rare, right? He really isn't up that much. He's been in the mid-120s, but if we search at 155,000 coins right now on the market, he has only got four pages of supply. And of course, German links, Dortmund links, if you're putting together a squad with this Renier card, which if we go take a look, I think if people are doing one of these Foot Future Stars Academy players, the one that people are doing based off of the links that this guy has, and the amount of thumbs up and stuff he's got in flipping. He's got 5,000 thumbs up, which is pretty solid. Um, Cucarella has how many thumbs up? He's got 2,900 thumbs up and 1,900 thumbs down. So I feel like that Renier card, this one right here, is one that a lot more people are willing to do. A lot of reviews are saying he's pretty cracked. And of course, Brazilian links and BVB links are out there. So I do think you will see some of those links rise. Now, unfortunately, some of those are already inflated as well. You know, I talked about that Royce being upwards of 140K earlier today. I think right now, He's actually down as we just looked, a couple undercuts. If I see this in the low 130s, I'm gonna get interested. If I see like 131 to 133,000 coins, like right there on bid, you know, maybe I try to find a cheaper one, but that's honestly not a bad deal to me because um, I think this card could be over 150,000 coins this weekend with the amount of people that might be linking that Renier card together. Now I talked about Douglas Costa as well. Um, this guy honestly hasn't really flown since the Renier has been out, but I'm assuming he's a bit higher in price right now just because this stuff is a little bit rare at nighttime, which actually he is not. I'm just trying to get one of these for like 350K if possible. 355 for this Douglas Costa is not bad at all. And let me show you why. Let me show you why. I don't think there's any left mid from Bayern that I have to be worried about as a part of the team of the week this week. This guy's got the five-star skills that is so coveted in this game. He was 355 last week before it even came out. He's been 360, 370. Um, yeah, he's just kind of on like a low right now, which is interesting. He was down to 350, 350. Eight earlier today. I did see that. Um, I thought he would bounce back up very quickly, but according to Footbin right now, he is 366, and there's a couple here in the 350s. You know what? I'm going to snag this one at 355, send that to my transfer list, and at the very least, I'll be able to flip that tonight for possibly like 375 or 380 because he has hit that in the past two days, but that is interesting, right? A card like this, if you see that kind of lower price, maybe you check some open bids as well, um, this card's very rare. He's got the green link and especially with all these new cards that have been coming out lately Green links are key because if people are running hybrid squads, that's very key for people to link all this stuff together So that kind of rounds up the out of pack link investment stuff I would focus on English cards from the Premier League Premier League the cards that go up every week in general, right? You always hear me talk about this Zaha card. He bounces up like every single week. Some of the Premier League center mids that have been down so much, excuse me, that's really cheap uh, for that Bruno Fernandez, right? This guy, has been he's down to like 600K flat, but earlier today he was selling at 660, 670. So definitely take a look at some of those Premier League center mids that are, that are down, that have been down because of the Curtis Jones, but they, those also have potential to bounce back because um, people still like to use Bruno Fernandez and these other meta cards in their teams. I'm going to try to snag this one for like 602. I'll leave that bid sick because I want to have other coins available. But let's talk about future stars, current team of the week, and fodder for the end of this video for Thursday flips. Um, of course, if you do have any questions about the out-of-packs stuff, drop it down below. There's a lot of out-of-packs cards, a lot of team of the week stuff that you can look at, right? You can look at informs, you can look at headliners, 
you can look at, of course, all the different promo teams that we have had. And there's going to be cards out of each of these teams that do well, right? Because of their links, because of their meta and just very, very usable cards in FIFA. So definitely take a look through here. And if you do have any questions, drop it down below. But these cards are in packs. A lot of guys want to know, hey, when can I buy some of these future stars players? Um, I think, especially for some of the really meta ones, Thursday at Rewards is going to be a time where you might be able to snag these guys on a cheap uh, a cheap price and then see them rebound a bit into, into Thursday, into Friday as they go out of packs, depending on what the content is that comes on Friday. Um, especially some of the guys that you've seen bounce around a lot while they've been in packs. That just means that they have demand and that they probably could go up further or quicker after rewards a couple of those guys i'm thinking of this reese james card 468k for him right now or 480 let's say uh this guy moves around a ton literally this guy goes bananas every single day monday this guy got hyped up and as an investment went from 420 all the way to 530 then back down today to 480 back to 515 and right now he's kind of chilling at like the 460 to 480 range if this guy goes back down to like 430 or 440 during weekend league rewards, that for me is going to be a buy because people have seen how much this Reese James, the right back Reese James is 700,000 coins, which is crazy. Um, I don't think you'll see as huge of a rise on this Reese James, the, the CDM, but I do think that you will see a nice rise out of packs on him, especially because people will be quick to invest in a card like this that is so hyped up. Bastoni is another one I would keep my eyes on. Ruben Diaz, Anthony. And um, there was one more. Honestly, I would keep my eyes on Linez as well because that card has bounced around a lot. He's a super sub for a lot of people, but a lot of people also like that card. Cucurella kind of hurts his price though a little bit. But Bastoni, Reese James, Anthony, uh, Ruben Diaz are probably my favorites with Tapsoba and Saka being just rare cards that I would see having pretty solid fluctuations as well on rewards day. You probably want to get involved with these in like the second or third hour of rewards as you do have people pack them and they get listed uh, and then relisted again for that second or third hour, uh, especially since it's really early in the morning. That's a great time to look into that stuff. And whoever comes out in the team of the week today, a lot of these team week cards, wow, Kempembe 219, is that real? Wow, okay, that's an undercut. That's really, really low for Kempembe, but so is this is low for Depay. This team of the week, I, I think specifically of Sterling. Last week, the team of the week at rewards fluctuated a ton. Sterling went from five, went from 800,000 coins before rewards all down to 418K and then back up to 530K all in one Thursday go at rewards. It was nuts. So watch out for like a rare player like an Aubameyang today could have a movement like that. Maybe not quite as extreme, um, but if we had, you know, any other big name players like a Ferland Mendy in team of the week during rewards time frame, you can expect big fluctuations there. And SBC fodder, Right, I would definitely take a look at SBC fodder during rewards because there's so many SBCs out right now, so much demand for people to do SBCs that I want you guys to take a look at this. And if you don't really know what to do when you're awake for the rewards time frame, bidding on SBC fodder like the second hour after rewards come out would be fantastic. Picking up some 84s, 85s, 86s, focus on the ones that go crazy, crazy high in price that are needed for chemistry links. So that's kind of what I'm feeling this week for rewards. I'm probably gonna stick my personal self to a lot of the out of packs cards, gonna try to find some links to the Renier, to the um, to the El Sharawi that maybe aren't too inflated yet. Uh, there's always a few cards that fly under the radar each week. One thing I do want to mention is golds. Golds, um, icons as well, actually, I want to mention those. Honestly, with gold cards, I'm not a huge fan of them because they don't bounce around that much as, as much as they used to. Now, they have dropped a lot this week. Like this Conte card, of course, when Curtis Jones came out, went from like 150 last week all the way down under 120. You might see a few of these cards bounce back a little bit. If you see more panic selling like happened yesterday with Conte, that would be a situation where I would think that you might be able to get in. But um, today on Wednesday, if there is not really a lot of content, I think a lot of this stuff is really going to start to push up even more. If it hasn't been inflated yet, a lot of the stuff has started to rise. And of course, is it ha if it hasn't been inflated, then I think you will start to see a lot of it push up um, today on Wednesday around the middle of daytime because people are going to see prices and they're going to be like, yo, uh, I want to get involved. 
That was a really good deal on that Bruno Fernandez. I probably should have got involved with that. Um, but last thing I want to talk about is a couple buys that I made with these road to the finals and just talk about RTTFs for a quick second because they're moving a crazy, crazy amount. You guys know how much these cards can move during Champions League time, right? So Liverpool won today. So that means that this Klosterman and Leipzig are kind of quote unquote in the mud, you would say, uh, because they are down two goals to zero and they have to come mount a comeback win for this card to get upgraded. So no upgrade for the Leipzig cards or for the Barcelona cards, but both of the Klosterman and the Griezmann. I actually bought three Griezmanns tonight um, because I think this card was honestly honestly too cheap, right? He's 270 right now. I got mine in the 260,000 coin range. These road to the finals are very rare, right? You would look at Griezmann. I bought mine at 260. If we go to like 290,000 coins, how many pages of supply do we have here? Uh, we have got one, two, and three pages of supply up 30,000 coins for right where I was. This Griezmann card, even though now it's it's still live technically because Barcelona had the second leg, I bought this because people were just selling this off. A lot of coins were lost today, honestly, on RTTFs as people were trading with them. And that just pushes these cards really, really, really low. And you kind of have to view it now as like, this is just an out of packs inform that is very rare with a cool card design and a position change, right? Griezmann, striker position change. His other 89 rated card is a left wing. So that's why I bought Griezmann. I think that Klosterman is gonna have some bounce value as well. I do think these cards will bounce back and it looks like they're already starting to right now. You might see another wave of, of selling in the morning when the, the EU kind of wakes up again when you guys are watching this video because this these video, videos usually go live at like 8, 9 a.m. UK time or a little before that. So um, if you see like these guys dropping back down again, watch the footprint graphs. But all I'm saying is a lot of times you see massive panic selling on these road to the finals after a team loses, even when they're still technically in the competition. Um, like Barcelona, of course, had the second leg, even though it's not looking pretty. So keep an eye on those. And also on the other end of the spectrum, keep an eye on the cards that got upgraded, right? This Gini Wijnaldum uh, is going to get upgraded later this week. He went from 600,000 coins all the way up to like, I think, 680 at a peak and is now down to like 640. If this gets any closer to 600K, I'd get very interested because people will probably start buying that card back up. Uh, I think that's a very high possibility, as well as this Salah. He went to like 2.1 or 2.2 million coins today, and right now he's at 1.975. If this gets back down to about 1.9 mil, or if like you can catch this bid here in the 1.8 highs, I mean, this card's going to be selling at 2 million coins until Friday when these cards will get upgraded. So um, I would definitely keep an eye on like Icardi and Draxler as well, um, because those cards... It's just like when a wants to watch does well, right? The card gets bought up. There's a little bit of sell off after that. And then with that potential upgrade still coming, people buy that card back up and it kind of has like a low, goes really high, drops back down a little bit and then continues to go back up. That's kind of the trend on some of those cards that are going to get upgraded. So definitely keep a watch on the more games that are coming out today, Porto and Juve and then Sevilla and Dortmund. More one, um, more road to the final cards at stake, more upgrades uh, and market fluctuations to be seen. But again, like this Griezmann card, crazy fluctuation on Griezmann. He was 500K before the game. Um, and then Griezmann went all the way up to 620,000 coins at his absolute peak today. And then of course, uh, when Barcelona started losing and um, Mbappe started his masterclass, then of course you saw this card drop from 620K down to 260. So crazy movements on these road to the finals. That's why they're so fun to trade with. And if you made coins on them today, G freaking Gs, because it is not easy for sure. But that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.